Hey everybody, it's Trey. I was gonna make this, I made some peach cobbler. That's, I put in this one of these pirates. Container is an easy way to make peach cobbler, y'all. I bought a one, I think it was one pound, maybe 16, 12 or 16 ounce package of peaches frozen. Thawed them out, put them in there, sprinkle some cinnamon on top. And I got, uh, my mom told me about an easy way to make it, and that's the reason I was trying it. It's pretty good. This is my second time doing it. And you put a cake mix, just regular old yellow, you know, yellow cake mix, white, whatever you might want to like. I bet it'd be good with chocolate cake. You just put it on top, you know, just the powder that's in the cake mix. Put it in the oven, about 350, about... 30 minutes, 40 minutes maybe, it's done. I got a gas uh, stove and this is uh, a newer type where you don't have to move, you just hit, and I did brown a little bit too much on parts of it, I put it on broil and all, but I've been doing some cooking today, I don't know what got into me. I made some pulled pork, there's some pork that I bought already, my cooked. And frozen packages and I just put it dumped it in and thawed it out of course Ch broke it all to little, little smaller pieces I hope y'all can see that okay barbecue sauce put it in the crock pot and I've been working on playing on the track really not know about working but I just thought y'all would like to see this if y'all want to try this it's an easy way to make Good old peach cobbler. I just need some vanilla ice cream, to, with loads of bread. Vanilla ice cream to put on top of it, warm it up a little bit and put it on top if it cools down before I eat any. But I don't have no ice cream, so I'm just gonna probably eat it. But. <clears throat> I love y'all, y'all have a great day. God bless y'all, take care.